What's up, everyone? Uh, my name is Nick. I am a current uh, PGY3 neurology resident. Today, I wanted to make a video about uh, the right exam. This is an exam that neurology residents take starting in PGY2 year up to PGY4. It's supposed to be a test to kind of gauge where you're at for the board exam. Oh, so that when I was a PGY2 and I was looking for like just like how to study for the right exam. There wasn't much content out there about this. Um, I went on like different forums and I was looking and like reading about like study strategies. Uh, so I wanted to make this video about my right exam experience and like what I did to study for it. So the right exam is the residency uh, in service training exam. It's an exam that I believe uh, sponsored by AAN and it is for neurology residents to see basically how you're doing on on different topics like are you ready for your boards uh, this also goes to programs and they can see how their residents are doing with their clinical knowledge i'm not going to talk about like the different parts of the of the actual write exam but if you go to like the a and website i think there is like a content outline that you could check out but really what did i do to prepare for my first write exam so I took the right exam once so far as a PGY2, usually is in, I believe, February. Uh, I did pretty good on the, the first one. Um, and I remember like before taking this exam, like months before, like, should I study? Should I not study for it? A lot of like reading online, people would say like, don't study for it. So you could show like your general increase in knowledge. And I thought about that for a little bit, but I'm like, no, I want to know like where I'm weak. I want to study for this test and see like what areas of neurology I need to work on. I would personally, I'd recommend studying for it a little bit. I mean, don't go crazy. Like it's not like a, a step exam and stuff like that, but just to like freshen up uh, your knowledge, see like where you're lacking and where you need to have some improvement. I think the most important thing to do well on, on the right exam is to understand uh, the questions. So there's some good QBanks out there. I know TrueLearn makes a good QBank. Uh, now the big one is Now You Know Neuro. They have a good write exam uh, QBank. They also have like some videos on their website as well to give you some write exam prep, which is pretty cool. So those are two solid question banks. Last year, what I did, I actually, because I was like first year, I didn't know which one I wanted. I got both of them. They're both very different uh, as QBanks. So TrueLearn, I would say is like very, it's more detail oriented. Whereas now you know neuro is more like fact-based. Like this is what it is, this is what you need to know. Take this info as you will and see which one that you'd, you'd like better. Um, but I definitely recommend getting one of them. In regards to like reading material, like what should I use to read? Like, should I read all of Adams and Victor? I mean, no, I don't, I don't, I know I don't have the time for that. Maybe you do, that's great. Uh, what I did was my residency program, we have like a lot of uh, PowerPoints that other residents have made about like write exam prep. So I kind of went through some of those. So your program might have something very similar. And then I'd say like the best reading resource is the AN's Continuum. The Continuums are great. Uh, they're, they're short articles. Um, they're very concise. It's all the updated information. If you're struggling with a topic, so you're like, hmm, I really struggle with like the different dementias and like treatments and like how to diagnose things. I would read the Continuum on dementia and like behavioral neurology and that way you can kind of like freshen up your skills. These are resources that are really helpful. And then like, when when do you have time for this? So I know like as a PGY2 and three, uh, especially now as a PGY3, I'm like, I have had a lot of floors. I'm very busy, so it's hard to study. But I think the most important part is trying to get a little bit of studying every day, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I say this, I mean, I there are days where I definitely am not studying at all so depending on like hard rotations like nights um you're busy with your like personal life it can be really tough part of the reason why i'm making this video is because the right exam is coming up in a couple months so i think now would be a good time like if you haven't been using your qbank if you haven't been doing some studying start kind of chipping away at that preparing yourself for the exam and then that way like when you take it you're like hey i know i did my best and then when you get the score report you can say you can see basically like, oh, wow, I really need to work on this part of uh, neurology. I really am a little weak on this clinically. My knowledge base is, is a little poor here. So for me, actually, um, on my old right exam, like looking back, like one of the things that I really struggle with is actually is like anatomy. I have uh, trouble with neuroanatomy, um, making diagnosis, treatment for other things that that's more, that's easier for me. 
but uh, struggling with neuroanatomy, which is kind of like a PGY2 thing, um, is something I personally need to work on. So when I study, um, I might not like memorizing different pathways and things like that, but that's where I what I know I need to, to work on. So these are just some quick uh, write exam prep tips, and I really hope you enjoy this video. I know there, like I said, there hasn't been much content out there about the write exam. So if you're a neurology resident or just someone who's interested, I hope this video was helpful. I really appreciate the support of all my subscribers and anyone watching. So put in the comments what you do to prepare for your uh, write exam or just any uh, neurology related exams even boards like what have you done i think that would be really helpful for others and even me have a good rest of your day